Yo, what's going on guys? I'm here at some um, Krill, just banging out, trying to get the boss collection log. Welcome to another episode of Stats on Gats. Anyways, and uh, without any further ado, let's just jump right into the episode. So let's go. So yeah, guys, like I said, I'm here trying to complete the Zamorak uh boss collection log you see right here i have the uh god sword shard 2 the uh ward of subjugation as well as the steam staff and the pet and i will be complete so i'm just going to be camping here until i try to complete that and uh i've been get, starting to get repeats but it's not that bad um it is what it is really and yeah, so I'm gonna be camping here. Maybe I'll go to the Armadale afterwards. We don't I don't know necessarily right now, but I'm gonna be trying to get this non-stop. So fingers crossed we get it done as soon as possible. I was doing my uh, daily Reaper and Magister and look what I got! <laughs> I got Morty man, that's awesome. Uh let's inspect that real quick. And congratulations, you've unlocked the pet Morty. Sweet constitution pet. Let's go ahead and check him out real quick. And he's under skilling pets. Morty. Sweet. We can have him as an override for a little while. Awesome. Morty, how's it going, bro? Add it to the collection. Sweet. That looks really cool, man. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. But I am happy. Alright guys, so I am actually almost done. If you look, let's see, um, look for my collection log real quick. I am 18 out of 20. I just need this stubborn steam battle staff and I'll be complete as well as the pets. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of repeats. And this freaking steam staff, <laughs> come on man, <laughs> let's go with the steam staff. But I am actually going to do some hard mode because I got, let's see, my kill count right now. Quick chat that real quick. And yeah, I got 3,000 kill count. So that means I'm going to get, a, I think it's a 1 in 125 uh, chance for getting the pets, which is pretty decent odds. So I think i'm gonna go ahead there's the kill count just over 3k so i'm gonna be doing some hard mode maybe i can get the steam staff if i'm lucky maybe not but the pet will probably come really quickly fingers crossed so let's jump into the hard mode hopefully i get some good stuff all right guys i'm about to get a new thieving level i've been just camping oh there it is i've been camping thieving as 110 thieving i've been camping here at the elf city trying to get clues because i have uh if you're not aware of the clue scroll rework, they're going to come out with a new point system that you can spend on the new Trails Blazer outfit, which is going to give you a bunch of benefits to clues and just doing clues in general. And I am actually just trying to get these done because they retroactively will be handing out points for anything you do prior to the update. So that's why I'm trying to get a backlog of some clues done. So by the time that comes out, hopefully I have a decent amount of points. So I'm just going to be camping thieving for a while. I do have, I've completed about 22 hards and mediums so far, or hards and uh, elites rather. So about 40 something clues in total since I've been here. But yeah, there's 110 thieving and that's really cool. Still going to be camping here and just, you know, until I get bored, I guess. But we've gotten a lot of thieving done and a lot of clues done for that matter. So I'm happy. All right, just finished another Reaper. That is another Magister. I've been using that for the daily challenges. Because uh, for this weekend, you get to pick your desk. I've been picking Magister every time. And unfortunately, that was not a uh, phylactery at all that task. It was only eight of them I killed, but really sad to see no uh, phylactery. But that does mean by completing this one, I have uh, enough Reaper points to buy another Hydrix. So that's really cool. I can go ahead and grab that real quick and make a bit of cash for uh, my troubles. And I don't know. 
really just I'm trying to actually go for completing a Kopesh of my own. I have one of the blessings and I have I think 30 or 40 scraps towards the second one. So I am trying to complete that as soon as I can, but I'm just kind of getting snuffed on these flactories uh, as of recent spots. I'm going to continue to do Magister as my dailies reapers if I can choose them. And that'll be all complete in a matter of time. I just got to, you know, be consistent with it. So here is the Hydrix. And that is an extra. How much are those going for right now? Uh, 18.6, almost 18.7. That's okay. Not too shabby, but it's always good to have one of those. You know, a little extra change as you do these Reapers. But yeah, that's good. About to finish another hard clue. I just did the uh, blow kiss with this uh, emote area in the bank, and I got a casket. So we're gonna open it up, see what we got, and a uh, hundred and twenty-six k. Whatever. It's a hard. I really don't put much uh, weight in so much of these. Uh, although some hards are actually really good at doing. It. I mean, especially with the look of the dwarves uh, upping the price of the uh, fortunate components, that makes a really viable to actually do hards in my opinion i actually noticed that they're pretty decent to uh start uh doing those but yeah that's a hundred or that's 24 hard treasures done and i got elite right here and we're gonna about to go and do that and see what the heck we got going on over here hopefully something good but uh you know that's how it is all right, just about to finish up the Elite, and as soon as we unlock this, we're going to get what we get. So let's see what we get for the Elite Clue. Okay. At least we got one uh, fortunate component. I don't really think this thing sells all too much, but that's okay. We still got one fortunate component. I really can't complain when I get something like that, so we take those, and I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, yeah, so that was actually two uniques, even though, you know, the ornament kit wasn't too fancy, but that's okay. We still are not walking away with, like, 100k elite, so I'm not too shabby about that one. And, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited if you're watching this on the day that it's uploading on Sunday, because tomorrow, by the way, guys, a little, not really a sneak peek, because I really don't have much information. I tweeted at, uh, Shani and he didn't even reply. Uh, sorry, my life. Can't get recognized out here, bro. But anyways, uh, Monday is going to be a large patch week. I don't know if there's going to be a game update associated with it, but there will be at least a large patch week. It's probably going to be one of the biggest ones we've seen in a while. So I am excited for that. I, you know, again, I tweeted at him if we could have any sneak peek because Shawnee normally does sneak peeks on Friday, and I did tweet him that Friday. Uh, what we could expect if there was gonna be anything and he did not reply so surprisingly enough also actually going about on a tangent here but I don't know why we didn't get a behind the scenes on Friday for the month for uh, December I really don't know why because uh, normally we do get those things on the uh, earliest Friday available for behind the scenes or maybe or the Monday available for maybe we'll see it on Monday I don't know i just wanted to point that out it was really odd that we didn't get a behind the scenes but Monday, I am, that's tomorrow, I am excited for that to come out, see exactly what kind of patch notes, and stay tuned on the channel for that. It's definitely going to be covering that, as I normally do, and looking like there's going to be some good things in there, so stay tuned. So I just finished another hour at hard mode Zamrak. Unfortunately, did not get any of the things I need. I do have a War Priest cape and a cuirass. So I guess uh, some Zambi components is neat, but I don't really don't need them at this point. Let's see where I'm at for Zambi components. Uh, 48, so that tops it up to 50 with those two. I really do not need any more Zambi points. I'm set for like forever, probably. Uh, it's really unfrustrating. In case you're wondering where I'm at, let's check real quick. Alright, for regular mode kills, I'm at 3,035 kills, and hard mode, I'm at 189. So, statistically speaking, for hard mode, I should have gotten the pet by now, but that's RNG, you know how that is. So, that's really unfrustrating. As far as collection, you can see right here, that is 
everything I've got, all the repeats, everything, and still need that goddamn Steam staff that does not want to drop, and obviously the pet, which I really, you know, I'm now in the realm of unlucky because statistically speaking, I should have got it already. <sighs> Doesn't look like we're going to be getting this this episode, unfortunately. Look at all these uh, war priests I've been getting. Like, oh my god, that's so many Zami components. I honestly should just get the set, put it in my house, and, you know, be done with it. I really don't need Zami components for as long as I live, I think. Ugh. Surprisingly, never got a repeat on Hood, Hood of Subjugation and Ward of Subjugation. Not that I'm complaining, but that's just interesting to note. But come on, Steam Staff. Where are you? Uh, like I said, hopefully next episode. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Stats on Gets. If you noticed, I got a slightly different outfit well i mean it's essentially the same thing i just made the colors a little more festive and a little in line with the christmas feel so it's gonna be i'm gonna rock this until the end of december so if you see me in game uh just look out for that red and green gats <laughs> anyways appreciate you guys watching i am out peace